Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, the King James Version Bible. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. There is a ignorant, uh, satirical news site called The Onion. They try to act like that they're really funny and really smart, and they're just a bunch of, of heathens who need prayer. And if you're a Christian, I want you to pray for them. I know that I am. But I'm also not going to stand for their garbage. They put out a cartoon today depicting of all these false gods like like uh, the Hindu god and and maybe Buddha and and then they have Moses who was a man of God with with the Star of David tattoo on his uh, behind and they're all naked by the way and sexually explicit and worst of all my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have got him in the cartoon as well and uh, they're all having sex with, with each other and they have a caption that says, no one was murdered in the making of this cartoon. I'm, I'm not going to stand for it. I know they're trying to play stupid games. They're trying to show that all the killing that happened, Islam is doing over that dumb movie about Muhammad is true, by the way. Everything in that movie about Muhammad is true. The things he was, a child molester, a rapist, a murderer, uh, totally illiterate, couldn't read or write, a homosexual. That stuff's all true. But my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the only pure and holy man to ever walk the face of the earth he's the god man and i will not i will not i will not i will not sit back and take this sitting down and they're trying to say on there i, I found it i don't i don't deal with that with that ignorant site i found it on msnbc when they put a thing a caption did this did this go too far so i'm waiting to see if they endorse it. if they do I'm going to call for a full boycott of, of MSNBC, MSN, and everybody. But I'm waiting for right now. Right now, it's just the onion. But they say that um, all that's going to happen is maybe a couple of people might be a little upset. Oh, no. They've got it totally wrong. I'm somebody who is nothing. I'm nobody. A slave for Jesus Christ. But right now, I've already gotten the word out to about 75,000 people tonight. And I told them to get the word out to everybody that they know. If they only get the word out to 10 people each, who get it out to 10 people each, we got 10 people each. That's 75 million people right there. I hope that this this ignorant site has no one subscribing anymore, no one watching, no traffic, that they get totally shut down. Because if these clowns get shut down, they won't be able to put out their, their heresy and their blasphemy and all their tripe. And they think they're funny, but like this, the verse says in Galatians 6, chapter, 6, verse 7, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And when these people, if they don't repent and come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, when they stand before him with a great white throne judgment, they won't think that they're funny. They won't have any mocking going on. They're going to fall on their face and get cast into the lake of fire forever. Tired of playing games. I'm not going to take this sitting down. And I want to see how many Christians are out there who care anymore because I haven't heard any Christian saying anything about this. I've been spreading it all over every social media that I can get it onto. And I'm doing a YouTube video now. And I'm going to spend the rest of my time tonight getting this word out because I am not putting up with this garbage. I am not, not, not going to see my Lord and Savior mocked this way. I see Moses with a Star of David tattoo mocked this way either because he's a man of God. And they're mocking the whole Jewish population, God's chosen people on purpose. And woe, woe, woe unto them. I'm telling you right now, this is ridiculous. I am filled with righteous anger. I'm filled with with all these content. They've way underestimated this one, my friends, because I'm not going to let it go. And I know I've got a lot of friends on YouTube, Facebook, Google, Twitter, where I blog everywhere that are going to get this word out. And I guarantee you that before this is over with, these people are going to be sorry they put this junk out because it's going to cost them viewership like crazy. If Christians really care. If they don't, that's between them and God. But I know that I've got an awful lot of people that do and the word keeps getting spread out, it's going to hurt them where it counts in the pocketbook. So understand this, Christian. I'm so disappointed that I don't see, I didn't see Christians even, or even complaining about this in, in the little MSNBC thing. And, and this thing had 85,000 likes on Facebook the, at the time of the article. It could be hundreds of thousands now for all I know. I am not taking this sitting down. I'm not going to have, Jesus doesn't need us to take up for him. He is our Lord and Savior. He's the God-man. He's part of the Trinity. He's God's own son. But as a Christian, as a Christian who serves Jesus Christ, I'm not going to put up with it. And again, the people who are griping about the, the Muhammad video, they don't have a leg to stand on because it's all true. Now, am I saying that 
it was that they need to put that video out. No, they don't need to put the video out. They, they can witness to him and try to lead him to Christ, do what they can do. But that video is totally truthful. That garbage they depicted on there is totally false, and I am not going to stand for it at all. So, Christian, if you're a real Christian, and you stand for Jesus Christ, and you follow him, you get the word out. You spread this word to everybody you possibly can. The www.onion.com. Boycott this site. Anyone else that, that, that's endorsing this, boycott it. And let's see how they feel when they get hurt in the pocketbook where it counts the most. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry for this junk. I'm so sorry for this blasphemy and heresy that these people are doing. I, I pray for their sake that they fall on their knees, repent, and they come to know you as Lord and Savior. I love them as people, but I hate what they're doing. I hate the sin that they're doing. I can't stand it. And I am not going to tolerate it. And I just pray that you would rebuke them, correct them, teach them, convict them, that you would hound them. Drag them down with sackcloth and ashes. Don't give them a moment's peace in their life. No happiness, no joy, no comfort, no satisfaction. Nothing. Until they fall on their knees and repent for this blasphemy and heresy against you, Jesus. I, these people better get it right soon before they run out of time. I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And for the people at the Onion, the people who endorse them and everyone else, this is your chance. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and you want to repent for all your, this stuff you're doing, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. And since that time, you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer. Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And once you get saved, to get you a King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Pray to Jesus every single day. Every single day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk to you daily. Get water baptized, immersion baptized in a Christian church as soon as possible. If you've been sprinkle baptized in the past, it doesn't count. Do it over again. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit from head to toe, sanctified. You should draw closer to Jesus Christ by reading his word, by praying, by living for him. And what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your King James Version Bible to church. And the pastor preaches when I preach, anyone does. You check your Bible and make sure that what we're saying matches. If it don't, you close it. You get up and walk out of church immediately. You unfriend, you unsubscribe, you run away. Because anyone who would lie to you in Jesus' name, anyone who would lie to you about God's own holy word will drag you to hell. It's very important, my friends. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, must receive faith. If I didn't earn it or deserve it, praise the Lord, I've got it. And I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's within his holy will. If he does perform it, it'll be all through his praise, honor, glory, power, majesty, might, love, mercy, kindness, gentleness, compassion. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in his kingdom. A tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Please share this video, very important, with everyone you know, everyone you know, friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers, drop it in a blog somewhere, plant a seed, walk away and let God water it so it can grow. The cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy, fluff, garbage you hear all across pulpits, all across the internet, won't convict anybody of their sin. This is the word that leads to hell. The word that leads to eternal life in heaven is a King James Version Bible, first chapter book, Genesis to Revelation, cover to cover, the way I teach it here. Not because I'm anything, because God's everything. I love you guys, I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.